Welcome back to Socks of King. Yeah. <laughs> so back playing Black Sad. Um, this is like one in. I don't know, how long have I been sitting here for? Two hours? Something like that. I just had a short break um, that you guys didn't see. And uh, I did that, but I didn't want to do that. Um, let's go back inside. So you said you got the stuff out of the trash. So anyway, so last time, um, did a heap of stuff. We found out from uh, the right, uh, the gorilla friend. We we'll chat to him. That's where we ended, you know, before that. Chatting to Gorilla Boy, um, we went through his locker. Uh, we went through a couple of the guys' lockers, Bobby Yale's locker, and then his locker, and. He was... What happened? Uh, I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. Ooh. Um... So we chatted to him, and then we went through his locker, found Shamrock, found he was, uh, linked to the O'Leary, uh, sort of crime, bookie, family sort of thing. And that he works for them, and he didn't tell us in the first place. And we were nice to him, and you know, kind of let him off. We we got it. We're his friend. We get it. So times are tough. Um, then went and talked to Sonia. Went and spoke to her. Uh, weekly, our mate Weekly from the paper was on the roof taking photos. Saved him from falling and killing himself, uh, which I did fail. <laughs> So funny. I freaked out. But anyway, um, he died. We kept going. Uh, well, he didn't die. Because I saved, uh, retried, saved him kind of thing. Because uh, I had to. And then went to the diner with him to get a shake. Then came back, spoke to, because uh, we noticed while we were talking to Sonia. Um, then we covered his ass because, you know, she didn't know kind of thing. And hopefully she doesn't find out and then go about it. Uh, she's pretty unhappy with us, which is understanding, but you know, she probably doesn't really give a shit about her dad who's died. Um, I don't know why something just doesn't add up. And... Then we gave, we got a cheeseburger, we gave it to Old Maid out the back, and then he told us about four people that entered on the other night. So, I want to see if Jake has anything more to tell us about the fight. Do you remember anything else about Joe Dunn and Buddy Yale's argument? No, not, uh, not really, no. Only Joe yelling. If you do... I'll call off the fight and kick you out of the gym. Yeah, right. Not all folks are as open-minded as Dunn. You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... Keep training. Right. What was that? That was an A. Like there was something I could click on just then. So what oh, it might be. Is it for that? It might be for this. It's that height. No, 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 no. Okay. So there is something there that I can. If I just spam A button. If I just do that. No. Okay. Oh, there it is. So... <laughs> they said Arthur Tuck- Arthur Fucker. Whoa! Uh... Let's- it Smells like... Paint. 
integration is a mortal sin. Wait. Did we racist over fur? Over fur. Bastards. The proud South. What? The fuck? Uh, what? I've got any clues, apparently, so. Oh, that's not who I wanted to pick. I've been- I wanted the other one. That was the whole point of going into the other- Moving the hotspot, go up to that one. It's already busted into and it's empty. Of course. Whose is it? Oh. But we can do a deduction. Let us deduce. So, there's a stain tail in Arthur's locker. And we quickly took those. Ah! It's stained paint with red. Got it. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Why? So, I need to talk to Arthur Tucker. Can I go into the showers? No. Oh, uh, I want Black Side to go into the showers. Do... Do I do it? That's Jake's locker. I think if, if I come back at a time when he's not training in the gym, I'll, I'll try it. But for now, I'll, even, I'll see if I can find anything out about. Well, let's just go racial Not issues. All folks are as open-minded as Doc. Well, yeah. I happen to know who painted the lockers. Arthur Tucker. There we I go. knew it. I knew it was him. That knew there was asked. something about that. I'm gonna whip the white out of him. Training. Doing all right. I feel I'm doing all right. It's hard to realize I've been playing the game for a couple hours already. Uh, I want to go see... Oh, see, look at that. You see that move? That's just... Didn't have to wait the entire time for him to walk up the stairs. It was just like... Boom, done. Like, he's up the stairs. I'm like, that is... Much better. I remember that fight. Back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Alright. But he's versing the champ there. He's versing stone. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. It's not what I wanted to look at. Or have a look and see if I can find Arthur Tucker's name and address. Kept files on the gym staff and clients. Name, yeah. address, and date of birth. Yeah, and I want to find out. He didn't even put Arthur Tucker in his book. Fool. Oop. Either. My controller's freaking out, the game's freaking out, because I'm pressing things. Okay, well... Just done a circus. Seemed like a happy family. Ask for the safe. Take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but 
My mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Hmm. Fascinating. Wrong password. Dunn's wife. Cleaner? Back. I don't reckon it's Sonya's. That's. Hmm. I don't think it'd be Sonya's. I'm just gonna check out the roof for a second. The only reason I don't think it'd be Sonya's is. Well, just because, you know, they didn't get on. Kind of thing. Is the main reason there. Now, so weekly got in over here. It was the green part. No, okay. So weekly. Okay. Nothing new on the roof. Can I this? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go back down. Let's go back down and go to the diner. Ah, that's such a great move. <clears throat> so good. Anyway. What is, what is that? What? Thank you, Mr. Blacksat. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? <clears throat> I don't know. No. I... Please open it while I'm here. What's wrong? Hmm, what is wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Uh, what? Do you know who had it? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll What's try. written on the inside There's of it? There's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Uh... Both. Your father's death and Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh. Oh my, yes. It could be. Will you please give me a moment? Of course. Okay, you had a moment. Yes? Are you feeling better? Feeling any better? Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Uh, firstly, let's deduce again. No? Yeah. Let's do some deductions. Feel that? Yes. I knew okay. it. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Why did she call him Joey? Yep, I know. I wanna I wanna do this other deduction this too. So Ah, this information's there, got it. So I think... Mary put the ring in the envelope, and then... Joey. Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Hmm. 
Nucleus allowed a new deduction. I'm killing it. Right. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? Speaking of which, I want to just have a look through that now. And there it was, Mary's birthday, a week prior to that very day. Look at me go detecting and solving things. Let's see what this new deduction is that I can match up. That. I already did that. really need to deduce it. Use Mary's birthday. Booyah! Gotcha! Business insurance policy. Last will and testament. There's money, a gun. Let's look at this business insurance policy. Last will and testament. Safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Oof. Can you tell me what it says? Because he can't right. legally read it. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing, boxing trophies, trophies and knickknacks that go to Bobby, Bobby Yale. Yale. Congrats, you're one lucky lady. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. When was it signed? When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Fascinating. Do you think he read it? Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. All right. Thanks. Okay. Let's have a look see here. Do I have anything to nope? Wanna wall Uh That's good, that's it for now. Thanks. I just wanna That's it for now. See if I can look in the safe a little I bit get more. It. You don't like me. But there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Pain is no excuse. I don't like myself. I'll grow on you. I'll find Yale. I don't like myself either. I don't really like myself either. So that's one thing we've got in common. Duly noted, Mr. Blackside. Hmm. Gun. I never would have taken Dunn for a gun on it. A few bucks. Just petty, petty cash. cash. Alright, uh, that's the safe done. Alright. I do need to talk to her. Anything else there? No. Uh, what can you tell me about the gym's insurance? I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far it looks like your standard small business policy. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well. 
He wants to interview you. Why? He would, a woman running a boxing gym? That's quite the story. And how did this friend of yours find out, exactly? Well, you know how these things... I don't even want to hear you. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. Oof. I know who had your mother's I ring. I think I know who had your mother's ring. I you prove do? my worth. Mary. Mary Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Oof. Thank you. Oh, damn. What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. Did you Oof. find anything interesting in Oof. those papers? No. What she just did completely contradicts that. Sure, you know. But okay. Right, 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 right. Let's talk Did to her again. Anything interesting in those uh. No. Investigation work takes time. <sighs> sure, you know. Thank you, you condescending son of a gun. Alright. Let's go talk to Jake. Jake's still here, punching the bag. And then I'm gonna go. Joe Dunn. What's going on? Is the game broken? Keep training. What the fuck? Um you gonna talk to me now? Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe it's because I already asked those questions. Although... When Bobby Yale was a teenager, Ooh. he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning, he broke in the gym. Apparently, there's was lots of gangs in, in New York. Bobby pointed to Everyone's in a gang. There's enough seat. gangs for everyone. So, Joe opened it. And More asked gangs Bobby than people. That's what he said. More Leave gangs gang than people. Boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. Okay. Right. Seems to like, yeah, kill done together. Young talent in boxing. Promising boxer at... Uh... Cause he's a boxer... Dog? Really on the nose for that one. Hey! Uh... MSG in... 17 days, Jesus. Okay, I think I need to go... It seems like I need to go talk to... Um... Mary. With this new information. So I walk down the street to the diner, she should still be there. And that weird... There's a pole there. There's weird things where people are like loading in from behind something. Ah, oh, yeah, they're loading in from behind the thing. Very odd. 
like bezel so like you go around the back and then you come in the back door and it doesn't really load I don't know Woman, please. Alright. Let's go to the top. Let's get back in. Say hi. I know, I know you're, you're hiding, hiding something. something. What? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> nah. You know what? You're the only woman who ever called Dun Joey. Except his late wife. Late wife. Oof. Oh, my you get a faint. I, oh. I can't talk here. My shift is over in ten minutes. Can you wait a while? Sure can. Got nothing else better to do. Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. John Blacksad. Detecting crimes. Detecting slimes. Oh. Uh, this is fun. It's a lot more, uh. What was the other bit? What was the other game? Heavy Rain. That's what it was. Heavy Rain was the other game. That was a good game. We've been seeing each other for almost two years. That was a great game. It all started with. Well, weekdays I start cleaning the gym at dawn, before my shift mm -hmm. at the time. I Joey see. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. Right. Come along now. He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. Say no more. Paperwork. <laughs> he really hated it. One morning, he saw me crying. Dilly didn't get it. <laughs> They're all pretty bad. You know. Try to cheer you up. Tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of Joe and some fresh air. That was the first Ooh, of many cup cups of on the roof. Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. And you seduced Which is you seduced him. I'm a decent woman, Mr. Blacksad. Well. You might be too young to understand this, but really How old is he? Has little to do with seduction. One day, we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day. So we began to spend more time together. The rooftop coffees time? became wine. Why the secret? Why did you keep it secret? For Sonia's sake, she and Joey drifted apart after her mother's death. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Mm. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was. And we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. Fair enough. He proposed? So, he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring and we decided to tell the world. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. What about Ooh. you? Wasn't he like a son to him? Maybe you already yes. noticed. I, I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Too much coffee and fresh air. coffee and fresh air? Why? Why would you say that? I lost my scarf a while back. Not sure where. I didn't ask and that. Now, if you excuse at me, all. that's my bus stop. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Blackstack. Right. Yeah, that was your bus stop, but the bus wasn't there. That's my bus. Oof. He knows something's up. He's gonna get to the bottom of it. Mary has a cold. you have to say no 
nothing left to save Jake. Oh, he punched me. Uh, that's funny. Alright, I'll go see Sonya. See what Sonya has to say. She wouldn't have known about the wedding. Apparently that happened. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? Apparently she doesn't no. want to know. Go figure. Work takes time, as I'm sure you know. It does. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand here by the sax man. Sax man here. And uh, hope not hit that. All right. Next time. On Socks Off Gaming. It's gonna be more black side. I'm not sure where I need to go now. You know what? I should, I'll call the chief. I'll call the chief inspector. Chief officer. Or chief. The guy that came to him. Uh, in his office. Kind of thing. Um, in a flashback. I'll give him a call and uh, see if I can advance this case further. But until then, make sure you subscribe like, comment, all that stuff down below. Let me know. I want to know what is going on with you guys and whether you're liking this or not. I'm enjoying it. It's a great game. And uh, how about next time I'll play more Blackside or something else. If you want to check out more, check out Warzone. I got copyright claimed on it. So check it out. <laughs> all right.